Once upon a time, there lived a mother goat with her seven little kids in a cozy little house in the forest. The kids were all very curious and playful, but their mother loved them dearly and always warned them to be cautious of the sly wolf. One day, as the mother goat was going to the market, she gathered her children around and said, I'm going out to get some food for us. Be careful while I'm gone, and don't open the door for anyone except me. The wolf might come by and try to trick you, so make sure you recognize my voice before you open the door. The little goats all nodded in agreement, and their mother left for the market. No sooner had she gone when the wicked wolf, who had been lurking nearby, saw his chance. He crept up to the house and knocked on the door, trying to sound as gentle as he could. Little goats, little goats, let me in, he said with a soft voice. It's me, your mother. I've come back from the market. But the kids were clever and cautious. They listened carefully and noticed that the voice outside the door didn't sound like their mother's at all. They said, no, you're not our mother. She has a sweet and gentle voice, but your voice is rough and gruff. You must be the wolf. The wolf was furious and thought quickly. He ran to a nearby shop and bought a big piece of chalk. He ate it to make his voice sound smoother. Then he returned to the house and knocked on the door once again. Little goats, little goats, let me in, he said in his newly softened voice. It's me, your mother. I've come back from the market. The little goats listened, and this time, the wolf's voice sounded much closer to their mother's. They were almost fooled, but one of the little goats had an idea. He looked under the door and saw the wolf's big, black paws. He shouted, look at your feet. Our mother has white feet, not big and black like yours. The wolf, realizing he had been discovered, became even angrier. He decided to take more drastic measures. He ran to the bakery and covered his feet with white flour. Then he returned to the house, knocked on the door, and spoke with his softened voice. Little goats, little goats, let me in. It's me, your mother. I've come back from the market. The kids were now convinced that it was their mother, for the voice sounded like hers, and the feet were white. They eagerly opened the door, only to be met by the wicked wolf's grinning face. He pounced on them and gobbled up one of the little goats before they could react. The other little goats were horrified and managed to escape to the fields and hide in the bushes. While the wolf was busy digesting his meal, the mother goat returned home and found the door wide open. She was devastated to find one of her kids missing. She comforted the others and told them to be even more careful in the future. The remaining little goats always remembered the importance of being cautious and not letting strangers into their home. And as for the wicked wolf, his trickery had failed, and he didn't get a chance to eat any more little goats from that house. 
And so, the story of the wolf and the seven little goats teaches us to be wary of strangers and to always listen to our instincts, even when appearances can be deceiving.